Hello, this is Jeffrey Fox, the instructor for Big Data Applications and Analytics, a data science curriculum course. And we're in Unit 2, the Motivation Lesson 8. This is a short uh, lesson describing the so called data science pipeline. And that date, I sometimes denote that pipeline D I K W, data, information, knowledge, wisdom. That's the W. And then we have this optional thing decisions. Community consensus, toss, toss information, toss wisdom away, etc. So this is a very old pipeline, and one of the important things about the pipeline is it says that bits and bytes, which are data, actually comes in these various forms, which depend on various processing, because the data is converted to information by running a computer program. And that's um, stated precisely here. And I would say under decisions, we have things like community acceptance of results, like um, uh, the Higgs particle exists. That's an example of a physics community wisdom. And another possibility is that you know the government will run some data through this. Um, Process and make a decision. We will offer some new healthcare service or something like that. Typically, as you go down this pipeline, the amount of data in measured in bits and bytes uh, de decreases, it goes down in size, where if you like, the value goes up. So, uh, um, and that's a very important, that's actually why it's not so easy sometimes to say how much data there is, because people can quote the data at this level. Or this level, and sometimes the data at this level is actually thrown away immediately because it's produced in some sensor, and you immediately process it, and then you get less. I mean, uh, if you were a satellite um, circling, circul uh, running around Mars or something, uh, where there's a huge cost of uh, data transfer, you would do as much processing possible before you sent the data, so you'd put it as far forward in this pipeline as you could. Here's a picture which I've used an awful lot, which shows this um, information, data, information, knowledge, wisdom, decision process in a sort of broad fashion around the edges here. We have all the sources of data, or actually of information, or um, knowledge, um, including raw sources like uh, these are seismographs. This is probably a Bioinformatics machine, here's some water measurements. And um, here we have some telescope, or smartphone, or so on. We have just services running on computers. Uh, we have uh, satellites. We have just another cloud, another whole thing. Here we have the LHC detector. We have a database. We have a dupe cluster. We have a grid. We just have some storage. We have a webcam. We have a telescope, and these are just run through filters. The filters are what promote you through this pipeline. Uh, you, you do not go from information to data in a filter. You go from data to information, information to knowledge. So here we trundle through our various things, data, information, knowledge, wisdom. And then we go to the portal, where the president or you or whoever's looking, the doctor makes the decision. This is how we're going to treat your illness, or what, whatever the decision is. So this is a generally um, important picture. And you can say that most of these things are filter clouds running analytics. I also put so-called discovery clouds, because you're going to do queries on this data. And uh, that's going to be part of your decision making. And all of these things in principle run on clouds. They're all built as services, and that's uh, the, the way we're meant to do things this world. And here is our final uh, slide in this set of this very general discussion of the pipeline. And we just take Google Maps and navigation as the example of the field. So the data is the original maps, USGS, satellites for the overlays, and the street camps. The information is the integration of that data on, we have to clean up on a basic Google Maps web page. Knowledge is when Google Maps displays a particular way to get from 
place A to place B, sometimes with multiple choices. And then finally, the decision of the wisdom comes when you actually decide what route to drive, and you drive that route, hopefully getting to where you want to go. So this is just a simple example of the DIKW uh, pipeline, which is pretty universal. Although I stress that the actual dividing line between data and information, between information and knowledge, and knowledge and wisdom, and wisdom and decisions, is extremely artificial and wishy-washy. So you shouldn't uh, read too much into into that.